UWC or United World Colleges is a global educational movement with the mission to make education a force to unite people, nations and cultures for peace and a sustainable future. Originally founded in 1962 to bridge social, national and cultural divides caused by the Cold War, today UWC consists of 18 schools and colleges on four continents, several short educational programs, and national committees in 159 countries and territories worldwide. The UWC Movement's international arm is UWC International, a UK-registered charity. UWC International is governed by the UWC International Board and the UWC International Council. The executive arm of the UWC International Board is the UWC International Office, located in London, United Kingdom. Founded and inspired by the pioneering German educationalist Kurt Hahn, the UWC movement brings deliberately diverse students from around the world to study together. Most of UWC's 17 schools and colleges exclusively offer two-year residential programs, for young people aged 16 to 19 years, during which they complete the International Baccalaureate IB diploma program. Four UWC schools UWC Thailand, UWC Southeast Asia in Singapore, UWC Maastricht in the Netherlands and Waterford Kamschlaba UWC of Southern Africa in Swaziland also offer non-residential educational programs for younger students. Most UWC students are selected through UWC's system of national committees, which operate in 159 countries and territories as of early 2018. Selection is based on merit, independent of the student's socioeconomic background. A majority of national committee selected students pursuing the IB diploma at a UWC school or college receive financial assistance from UWC, based on their socioeconomic needs. Two year residential UWC colleges typically have between 200 and 300 students, from approximately 80 to 100 different countries. History The first UWC college, UWC Atlantic College in Wales, United Kingdom, was founded in 1962 by Kurt Hahn, a German educationalist who had previously founded Schul Schloss Salem in Germany, Gordonston in Scotland, and the Outward Bound Movement. Hahn envisaged a college educating boys and girls aged 16 to 20. The selection would be based on personal motivation and potential, regardless of any social, economic or cultural factors. A scholarship program would facilitate the recruitment of young people from different socioeconomic backgrounds. There are currently 17 UWC schools and colleges in operation. UWC Simone Bolivar was a member of the movement until its closing in 2012 by the Venezuelan government. The location and opening date for each UWC school and college is given below. UWC Atlantic College, Lantwit Major, Wales, United Kingdom, 1962. Pearson College, UWC, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, 1974. UWC Southeast Asia, Singapore, founded 1971, joined UWC 1975. Waterford Kamschlaba UWC of Southern Africa Mbabane, Swaziland, founded 1963, joined UWC 1981 UWC USA Montezuma, New Mexico, United States, 1982 UWC Adriatic Duino, Italy, 1982 Simone Bolivar United World College of Agriculture Ciudad Bolivar, Venezuela, founded 1986, joined UWC 1987, closed 2012 Lee Po Chun United World College of Hong Kong Wu Kai Hong Kong, 1992 UWC Red Cross Nordic Fleck, Norway, 1995 
UWC Mahindra College, Village Kubavali, India, 1997. UWC Costa Rica, Santa Ana, Costa Rica, founded 2000, joined UWC 2006. UWC Mostar, Mostar, Bosnia and Herzegovina, 2006. UWC Maastricht, Maastricht, Netherlands, founded 1984, joined UWC 2009. UWC Robert Bosch College, Freiburg, Germany, 2014. UWC Diligen, Diligen, Armenia, 2014. UWC Changshu China, Changshu, China, 2015. UWC Thailand, Phuket, Thailand, founded 2008, joined UWC 2016. UWC Isak Japan, Karuazawa, Japan, founded 2014, joined UWC 2017. The current president of UWC is Queen Noor of Jordan, 1995 present. Former South African President Nelson Mandela was joint president 1995 alongside Queen Noor, and subsequently honorary president of UWC 1999 Former UWC presidents are Lord Mountbatten 1967 and Prince Charles 1978 Academics UWC values experiential learning alongside providing its 16–19 year old students with the International Baccalaureate Diploma, an internationally recognized educational program developed in close collaboration with UWC in the late 1960s. The IB Diploma program aims to develop students who have excellent breadth and depth of knowledge, students who flourish physically, intellectually, emotionally and ethically." The mission statement of the International Baccalaureate, the organization behind the IB Diploma Program, is similar to the mission of UWC, testament to the close link between the two organizations to develop inquiring, knowledgeable and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect." A core component of the IB Diploma program is its focus on creativity, action and service CAS programming, while undertaking the IB Diploma program at UWC schools and colleges, students participate in various activities that encourage these traits, with a concentration on community service and social justice. Distinct from UWC colleges, there are four UWC schools that in addition to offering the IB Diploma program in a residential setting for students aged 16 to 19 also admit students into lower years. Younger students are taught using a number of different curricula based on the UWC educational model, and some offer the IB Primary Years Program and IB Middle Years Program UWC Maastricht, UWC South East Asia, UWC Thailand and Waterford Kamshlaba UWC of Southern Africa are all full UWC schools. UWC also runs shorter educational programs, called short courses. These shorter programs are often hosted on UWC school and college campuses during breaks in the regular academic year, although some are conducted in countries where there is no existing UWC school or college, such as the UWC short course in Turkey. UWC short courses increase the number of mostly young people who have access to a UWC educational experience. Topic. Activities Each UWC school and college offers activities in line with the Creativity, Activity and Service CAS program integral to the IB Diploma program and a UWC education. Examples of CAS activities across UWC school and college campuses include Theater Music Cultural visits Dance Climbing 
Kayaking Orienteering Scuba diving Tutoring Assisting refugees Farming and gardening Assisting people with disabilities Topic. Admissions Admission to the two-year residential IB diploma program at UWC schools and colleges ages 16 to 19. Most applicants who wish to study the IB diploma program at a UWC school or college must apply to the UWC movement through its national committee system. There are UWC national committees in 159 countries and territories worldwide, and most are run by teams of volunteers, many of whom are UWC alumni themselves. UWC national committees are mandated to promote the UWC movement in their respective countries, seek out eligible applicants to the UWC movement, select students to attend UWC schools and colleges and prepare their selected students for the UWC experience. Some UWC national committees also run short courses or programs to engage with students in their respective countries. In most cases, applicants to the IB diploma program at UWC must apply via the national committee in their country of residence or citizenship. Applications to UWC national committees are addressed to the UWC movement, rather than an individual UWC school or college, meaning that although applicants can usually list their preferred UWC schools or colleges, the individual UWC national committees reserve the right to nominate a candidate for any UWC college or school at their discretion, depending on availability and a variety of other factors. Over 60% of students pursuing the IB diploma program at UWC schools or colleges selected through the UWC National Committee system receive need-based financial aid, allowing admission to the UWC movement to be independent of socioeconomic means and available to all students regardless of their background. In some cases when it is not possible for an applicant to apply to UWC via their country's national committee, for example, when there is no UWC national committee in either an applicant's country of residence or in their country of citizenship, applicants may be able to apply directly to one of the 17 UWC schools and colleges to study the IB diploma program. Not all UWC schools and colleges accept direct applications, and usually scholarship funding is not available to direct applicants. Admission to full UWC schools for younger students Admission to full UWC schools for younger students is handled by the schools themselves, and independently of the UWC National Committee system. Topic Notable alumni politics and government Ian Kama, President of Botswana Julie Payette, Governor General of Canada and astronaut Douglas Alexander, British politician Lena Feltman Esperson, former Minister of Foreign Affairs, Denmark Alund Morgan, Welsh politician, member of the House of Lords and former member of the European Parliament Lindy Wasisulu, Minister of Defence and Military Veterans in South Africa Laos Wise van der Laan, Dutch politician, Vice President of the European Liberal Democrats, Chief of Staff to the President of the International Criminal Court David Cunliffe, New Zealand Member of Parliament Christia Freeland, current Canadian Minister of Foreign Affairs, former Federal Minister of Foreign Trade, journalist and member of the Canadian Parliament Nikki Ashton, Canadian Member of Parliament Jonathan Kislev, Israeli peace activist Emma Howard Boyd, Chair of the UK's Department for Environment Food and Rural Affairs and the Environment Agency, 2016 Tim Owen QC, British human rights barrister Jakob von Weizsäcker, German politician, member of the European Parliament Marina Catina, director United Nations World Food Programme and Lieutenant Italian Army Pilvi Torsti, Finnish politician and historian Sochiel Torres Small, member elect of the U.S. House of Representatives from New Mexico's 2nt Congressional District. Business Penti Curry, Finnish economist and venture capitalist Robert Milton, Chairman, President.
President and CEO of Ace Aviation Holdings Inc. and Chairman of Air Canada Jorma Olala, former Chairman and CEO of Nokia Corporation Peter Sands, CEO of Standard Chartered Robin Chase, co-founder and the first CEO of Zipcar Todd Sampson, CEO of Leo Burnett, Sydney, co-creator of the Earth Hour Initiative Arzali El Hassani, award-winning filmmaker, Screen International's UK Stars of Tomorrow 2009. Anne Enright, Irish author, 2007 winner of the Man Booker Prize Richard E. Grant, Swazi English actor, 2019 Academy Award nominee for Best Supporting Actor Can You Ever Forgive Me Karen Mock, Hong Kong singer, actress and songwriter, three-time Golden Melody Award winner Wangeki Mutu, Kenyan artist and 2010 Deutsche Bank Artist of the Year Eric Ku, film director from Singapore Richard E. Grant, actor, famous from With Nail and I Ushraf Yohadian, playwright from South Africa Sanam Kapoor, Indian actor Juan Pablo D. Pace, actor Hernan Jimenez, comedian and film director from Costa Rica Tara Sharma, Indian actress Sophie Holly Weld, singer for band Sophie Tucker Valeria Luisello, writer from Mexico. Kitsia Gonzalez Simone, visual artist from Mexico, academic Salison Donnell, English professor and head of School of Literature and Languages at University of Reading Hano Q, professor of public law, chair of public finance and tax law at the University of Heidelberg Jonathan Michi, director of the Department for Continuing Education and president of Kellogg College, University of Oxford Gina Neff, professor of sociology, Oxford University and Senior Research Fellow, Christchurch College, Oxford Howard Newby, Vice Chancellor of the University of Liverpool Federico Varez, Professor of Criminology, Oxford University and Senior Research Fellow, Nuffield College, Oxford Gillard Zuckerman, Chair of Linguistics and Endangered Languages, University of Adelaide, Other Pavlos, Crown Prince of Greece Zanani Mandela Delamini Akahiko Hoshid, Japanese astronaut Malika Vaz Youngest Explorer to reach Antarctica and Arctic. Sal Lavallo, youngest person to visit every country in the world Mayumi Rahim, Sri Lankan swimmer, three times gold medal winner at the 2006 South Asian Games Saba Douglas Hamilton, conservationist and TV presenter Paul Colton, Bishop of Cork, Cloyne and Ross, Ireland Kim Han Saul, grandson of Kim Jong Il, King Willem Alexander, King of the Netherlands, Princess Ayman bint Hussein, Princess of Jordan. <laughs>